Greetings, explorers, adventurers, and investigators. Welcome back to Explorers Emporium Shopkeeper Adventures. Today, we are going to see if a single person can move an upright grand piano. This particular grand piano is made out of tiger oak, and we estimate its weight to be about 750 pounds. You can see my uh, assistant there said, uh, nope, I don't want to do this, and it left. That was a feral cat that likes to follow me around at the store here. So today I'm going to try to move this piano. Uh, the motivation on this is we had to empty out our back room. Uh, many of you know that we run kind of a uh, game store that's uh, Pathfinder brought to life. So a lot of Renaissance type gear, LARP gear gaming gear board games rpgs that sort of thing but uh, this used to be our game room and uh, like many other businesses uh, we were in a spot to where we kind of need to uh, downsize a little bit and take advantage of um, having a leaser in the back room so we are emptying out our back room and we have a company that will be leasing the back so here's my goal. I had to be able to lift up the edge of this piano uh, to be able to slide wheels under it. And so I had some 2x4s just trying to give it a lift. When I first went into this, you know, I, it's one thing to, you know, to lift a piano. I told myself, yeah, I could lift a piano. Sure, why not? And I'm um, 60, 60 years old. And I told myself, you know what, let's give it a shot. And uh, so I'm able to lift aside, but it never occurred to me that you don't lift just once. You lift 50, 60 times. And uh, so it does catch up to me by the end of all this. But I have some 2x4s. I'm trying to stack it up high enough and slide the 2x4s underneath it to where I can get those wheels, the uh, little dollies there, slid underneath the piano. So each of these uh, dollies are rated to a thousand pounds so I have two of them so in theory it should be no problem uh, putting this piano on on them um, it was kind of amazing to me to watch these poor dollies uh, really bow under this piano's weight I did a uh, also, I, I went to Google afterwards and, you know, I was looking up the weight of the piano um, and uh, I happened to notice one of the questions, can one person move uh, an, a grand piano, an upright grand piano, <laughs> so someone actually asked the question. Uh, so the answer is yes, but I did give myself a good two, two and a half hours to do this. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time. I wanted to take it a little bit at a time. But you can see I'm moving this piano around. And so now I think I've got the height figured out to be able to get those wheels underneath there. This is me stalling. Come on, you can do it. All right, here we go. We got it. Right, so he's gonna give it a great big lift, slide those boards underneath, and I think this time we got it. Oh, we're stalling some more, here we go. And, ready? We got this, there you go. Sweet, all right, so there's our first set of wheels. So, so far so good, so at this point, I didn't think I could do it, but once I got the first set of wheels underneath there, I began to get a little optimistic. And then I was going to strap these wheels underneath it. So I wanted to make sure I put straps on them so as I'm rolling it, the wheels don't move too much. Uh, each of the straps are rated to about 600 pounds. So fortunately, uh, yeah, between the multiple straps I'm going to put down on them, each of the dollies that can support a thousand pounds is in pretty good shape, pretty well prepared. So basically our goal was is to uh, move it from this room and put it in the, the, uh, the main room which is right next door. So I just have to get it out those double doors there, get it up over a threshold which was the real challenge, and then get it into the main room which also was a single door at that point, also with a threshold, 
but once I get it in there, I'll, I know I got it home free. The piano itself, uh, this piano, oh, here's something. So the uh, wheels are moving as I, uh, so I already put the wheels on the one side. And so I suddenly realized, yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of back this thing up against something solid in order to tilt it. But I also need to make sure there's enough space between that wall and the piano so I can tilt it more than uh, uh, up against the wall so I don't hit the wall as I'm tilting it up. But this piano is from 1896. 1896 is when it was made. We found it in an old catalog. Um, and uh, you know, we just, uh, we figured the history on the thing is pretty fantastic. Yes, it still plays. Yes, it's still tunable, which is pretty fantastic. The main block's pretty old, but um, yeah, we, uh, we, we can tune it and we do play it. But 1896, so this is, you know, uh, pretty much before cars. So uh, we're in Arizona. I actually picked up this piano from California. So you figure this piano, you see what I'm doing here. This piano was moved all the way from the East Coast out to California and they must have, they had to have used some type of stagecoach back then. So you can imagine, you know, a group of people trying to move this poor piano all the way across the country via wagon. Pretty awesome. Wonderful history on the thing. I can, I can just imagine what it, what it really was. So we're gonna put a strap on each of the, the wheel sets. I will uh, take a second caution there and I, do, I, did, I will decide to add an extra set of uh, straps. We are grateful for everybody watching today. Super appreciated. Um, in case you guys ever have to do something like this, hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes. Hopefully you uh, <laughs> if I've watched my other video uh, when I was moving a, a big black science cabinet out of this same room rolling across dirt. Uh, 350 pound cabinet, so lighter than this, but uh, it fell on me, which was pretty awesome. So we are gonna add a couple of more straps, but at least we know it rolls now. So the trick is, is I need this thing to be able to roll. I need those dollies not to slip underneath it. So we're gonna put a couple extra straps here to try to see if we can keep those things moving around. We do have, we do run into an issue later on, which is kind of funny and you'll, you'll see it this all hooked up here perfect yeah we love our game room yeah, but uh we've got everything everything's moved now everything's on the inside so everything that was in this room has been pretty much moved inside we just had to condense and stack things we'll have another video coming out soon as I'm mounting a 70 inch uh, TV into our front window for advertising. But what? It's a beautiful machine. The uh, the block on the the block on the in, inside the piano, where the strings are attached, um, they tune pretty good. But the block is really old. So sometimes when I do tuning, I have to do a thing um, where I have to uh, call it what is called doping. So whenever you turn the little knob to tune the string, um, sometimes the wood block doesn't hold that pin and the string is so tight that it basically unscrews itself and goes out of tune again. So I do think called doping where we add a little bit of super glue, uh, often several times until the pin holds when we turn it and tune it, and it holds into the wood block. But um, yeah, uh, maybe four or five of those keys require that each time I tune, but uh, all the rest are still good. Absolutely amazing. All the all the keys work. It's pretty fantastic. So uh, whoever made this piano, um, they were manufacturers. From what I understand, they have one store left where they sell pianos, but they no longer make them. 
So they have a sales place, and uh, but they no longer make pianos. But here we are, we're getting out the door. But So you can see what I'm going over. There's this uh, metal thing at the bottom of the door to help seal it so that critters can't crawl underneath your door. And uh, so I had to lift it up over that. And then uh, one of the mistakes I made, um, I'm on carpet right now, so it's an uh, outdoor carpet. And then there's a second uh, rug for wiping your feet as you're going in and out of the store. So it gets a little bit caught up on that and I should have moved that carpet. So if you ever go to move a piano, you know, make sure you move that, that little, uh, any carpeting and things like that. But here's the best part. So um, I'm going through this door. I'd measured, so I knew the dollies. I had about maybe three inches of play uh, in order to get this piano through this door. Um, it didn't occur to me that um, I wouldn't be able to get myself up under it in order to lift it properly. So now I'm just kind of lifting completely with my arms when I'm on the inside there. And then the uh, best part is, is that the one of the uh, dollies, the front dolly there, actually gets its wheels hooked on the tire uh, on, the, on the door's uh, threshold. So the tires are hooked on the threshold there, and so the piano uh, gets stuck. So obviously this video is only about 15 minutes long, but um, yeah, it's stuck. <laughs> so it was actually stuck there for about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes. I, uh, we, we, the store opened in about an hour, so I knew I had time. I, I wasn't panicking, but, um, yep, those wheels are, the dolly's sliding and moving, so the piano's sliding on the top of the dolly, so it's not going through the door right now. It's just stuck. So I did edit this a lot, and I took out a bunch of this, you know, the dead time as I'm sitting there pondering, how am I going to get this through the door here? And the best part is, you know, I had a lot of people uh, kindly offer to help move it. So I knew if it got really stuck, someone would eventually show up and one more person could have easily done it. But um, I think this is where I decided I needed to strap the dolly to the front section of the uh, uh, front part of the piano so that the dolly didn't slide when I tried to move it. So you'll see the next screen will pop up and you'll be able to see the inside of the store. So there's me, I'm gonna wander in and then I'm just gonna put another strap or I'm strapping the dolly uh, so it doesn't slide back and forth anymore. So I don't think it'll slide out from underneath the piano. I just need it to stop sliding under the piano. So I'm gonna put one more strap on there. And then I should be able to, I decided I was going to be able to lift one wheel at a time over the threshold. And if I'm able to, then we're all set. It'll be just fine. So we're going to tie that off so it can't move. Should be a perfect plan. We're almost there. Once I get it inside, it'll be pretty easy to move. The uh, piano itself does have wheels. But as I mentioned, the piano is from 1896. I only try to do uh, some light duty uh, wheel movement whenever I, I roll it from like, you know, maybe three, four feet out from the walls and sweeping and cleaning. I didn't want to have to try to do this entire move using those wheels, you know, 130 year old wheels. And you want to keep the piano in best condition that you can. But I believe, as you can see there, I think we got it over the threshold now. So you'll see uh, the shopkeeper running around the side again. So I'm actually going out the front door, coming around the back, and then running back to the front door. But there you go, holy smokes. That's it, we did it. That crazy carpet, scold it. There we go, we're doing it. Walk up to the front again. Oh, yep, there we go. I should reappear any second on the other side there. And I think we are officially inside the building, so it should roll real easy now. There we go. Fantastic. See, that wasn't so bad. One person can move a piano. Easy peasy. It's funny, I actually got this piano um, from a very, very old house where the floors were 
uh, caving in and creaking and giving way and I originally moved it out of that house by getting 4x4s and sliding the piano across 4x4s like a railroad track and then as I came to the end of two 4x4s I would put two more in front of it but there it is so I just slid it out of the house using 4x4s but there's our upright grand piano made of tiger oak that's its new home in front of a game table there adds a little more ambiance to our store as we move everything into the front section candela obscura there's our little movie set there we did it well thank you for watching this super appreciate it here's the shopkeeper <laughs> thank you so much have a most wonderful day and uh, hope you enjoy the next video